Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 18.1.1 to the public. iOS 18.1.1 is available around the world at the same time for everyone, as long as you're not a beta tester. If you are a beta tester on iOS 18.2, you won't see this update. However, if you're not, go to your software updates and you'll see it there. And this released alongside a lot of other updates such as iPadOS 18.1.1, macOS 15.1.1, VisionOS 2.1.1, iOS 17.7.2 and iPadOS 17.7.2. And this came in at 411 megabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. It was about the same size on the other devices here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then go to general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 22B91. And this particular update does not have a modem update. Coming from iOS 18.1, you won't have a modem update on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's 1.11.01. Now, as far as new features, well, once you get to a point update, so point one and then another point, you won't have really any features. This is more about bug fixes and security updates. And as far as bug fixes, well, according to Apple, it just says bug fixes and improvements and is recommended for all users. However, I reached out to quite a few of you and many people seem to say that it's fixed the stutters and the lag that people were experiencing, whether that's just scrolling or going into maybe the app library and scrolling, it seems to be very, very smooth. Whether that's ProMotion sort of ramping up to 120 hertz or slowing down, it definitely feels a lot smoother than before. So they've taken out some of those stutters, whether that's going into music and scrolling, you'll see right away I can scroll and it's nice and fast. If we go in and maybe go into notes and within notes right after installing it, some have said that they did experience a little keyboard lag, but it seems like it's a little bit faster. So this is a new note on iOS 18.1.1. So you'll see it's not exactly perfect there, but you get the idea. It seems to be pretty fast. The haptics keep up with it as well. As far as additional bug fixes, well, I did notice that the wallpaper dimming bug or more vibrancy bug seems to have gone away. So if we scroll home, you'll see it doesn't really change at all now. So much better than it was before. It seems like they've fixed this. However, as far as any additional bugs, Apple hasn't said anything specifically, but there are security updates as well. If we go into Safari, you'll see the latest update here. There's no release notes, but on Apple's security release website, if we scroll down, you'll see the latest releases for iOS 18.1.1. If we go into this, there's just a couple things mentioned here, but they're pretty serious. And you'll see here, one was for JavaScript core and the other for WebKit. WebKit is the underlying code be behind Safari, and you'll see here the impact was processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to a cross-site scripting attack. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited on Intel-based Mac systems. Description, a cookie management issue was addressed with improved state management. That's how they fixed it. And then the other issue is processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited on Intel-based Mac systems. Again, they fixed it with the issue was addressed with improved checks. And then they have a CVE number and the person that gave them the tip as to what was going on. So both very important security updates. As far as other updates today, well, if you use an Apple card, Apple today announced that they're giving 3% back with ChargePoint EV chargers and Booking.com. There was also another update for podcasts as well. On Apple's newsroom, they shared the most popular podcasts of 2024. If we scroll down, you can see the top shows, the top new shows, top series, top episodes, most shared shows, most shared episodes, top subscriber shows, and on and on. So if you're interested in this, I'll link that in the description so you can check it out yourself. As far as performance, well, we talked about that a little bit before. Everything seems to be super smooth. No issues as far as that goes. Loading applications is fast. Everything seems to be nice and fast. The weather app I'm using, Mercury Weather, opens very quickly. Going into the App Store, everything seems to be nice and fast in general. We're just waiting for the load time there. So again, scrolling seems much improved in this update, and overall performance seems to be pretty good. But we'll go over that more in depth on this weekend follow-up video, usually on Saturday. As far as the overall heat of the device, well, I was very impressed that after installing it, it stayed nice and cool. No issues here, and I can show you that with the thermal camera. And with the thermal camera at the hottest point, we're at about 30.3 degrees Celsius or 30.7 degrees Celsius. I saw it jump up to, but in general, 
It's staying nice and cool. It's cool to the touch and seems to be much better than many would expect, especially right after installing an update, but it is a smaller update, but hopefully it fixes the additional issues people were having with heat. And as far as battery life, well, we'll take a look at this more in depth in the weekend follow-up video, but battery is going to be probably not very great for the first couple of days, then it will typically improve. As far as battery health on this device, it's 100% with only five cycles, but on my main device, I've been running betas. If we go into settings and then we go to the same thing, you'll see here under battery health, we have 100% with 53 cycles. This actually is not great since it's running the beta with Apple intelligence, which seems to use a lot of power. And I was only getting about 75% of my battery being used with only three hours and three minutes of screen active time. So hopefully it's improved, especially for iOS 18.1 users. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's not, but give it a couple days and then we'll talk about it in the weekend to see if it's actually made improvements. As far as if you should install iOS 18.1.1, well, for those security issues I mentioned before, absolutely. This was a vulnerability that they patched. The same is true on Mac OS as well as the others. So make sure you install this. We're still not seeing an update for watch OS. So we could see that fairly soon. And as far as iOS 18.2 beta fours release, well, I'm surprised we didn't have it yesterday. We could have it as soon as tomorrow at this point. And that's what I would expect since we already have a couple betas that released yesterday, I would expect iOS 18.2 beta four tomorrow with maybe beta five on the 25th, maybe the RC on the second and the public release on the ninth depending on who you talk to. Mark Gurman says the second we could see it. Mac rumors is saying maybe the ninth, but either way, those dates seem likely. The ninth seems more likely based on previous years. As far as iOS 18.3, we'll see that afterwards, maybe 18.3 beta one, and then probably that's it until January. So at this point, it looks like we could have a couple more updates until the end of the year. When it comes to overall benchmarks, I did run them. I ran them twice and the second benchmark was the best 3,457 for single core, 8,521 for multi-core compared to the previous updates. You'll see, I ran it twice, but if we take a look at 18.1, it's definitely a little bit higher. So a couple hundred points higher for both single core and multi-core. So much better. Again, the performance seems to be much better as well. So that's everything so far in iOS 18.1.1, just a bug fix and security update. And let me know how your experience is in the comments below. And if you've noticed any differences, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>